now you don't want your bed to file, right? Mm-hmm. You want the blood. Listen me. I'm a God person. We have two exciting couples that mm-hmm. are that's going to get married next year. We have a person, like you say, except example mm-hmm. in front of us, uh-huh. what, 31 years. Yeah, 31. Thank you again, Pastor First Lady. And of course, you yourself are married. Mm-hmm. And we can turn the question around why are you married, Apostle? <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, your show proposed a question. Yeah, come on. Your show proposed a question, and sure. and and I'm just trying to figure out what is the significance right. of being married right. to you, mm-hmm. okay. to you. What's important to you? We know God has has ordained marriage. That's why the homosexuals want to get married because they know God ordained marriage. Ordained marriage right? Yeah, right. He ordained it, so I want to get married too. I want to get the benefits too. Right. So I mean, what's the significance? Is it is it because you want to please God? Is that's why you get married? Of course, you want to please God, and then of course, like you say, you don't want your bed to be defiled, and that's what you're doing when you're. Help them out. Okay. Together. Okay. Help right. Them. That's good, though. That's mm-hmm. good. But but let's let's deal with Old Testament. Let's deal with New Testament. Okay. Old Testament, um, Genesis. Right. It says that God created male, then He created female, and the assignment was to be fruitful and multiply. Right. Now we all also have to understand too that God paralleled marriage with a representation of His church because. Christ is the bridegroom, right? And the ch- I'm, I'm sorry, Christ is the bride, and the church is the bridegroom, right? So that is his order of what he wanted to see in the earth realm. Now, here's something that I like too. Apostle Paul comes back and says, Well, it's better to marry than to burn, but he says, For me, it was better that I'm single. Mm -hmm. So I can focus more on the work of the Lord. So watch this. Even though God ordained marriage, God won't be upset with you if you do not get married. But watch this. That has your choice to not get married doesn't exclude us from being accountable for the word that God has laid before us in terms of how he wants his people to live. Now, of course, the world will say, oh, that what's the big deal? Mm -hmm. You know, we can do the same thing. But. Here's the thing, whatever God puts um, or, or, or he puts into order is blessed if we follow what he said. That, that's the whole thing. What God does, if you do it the way he says, then it's blessed. Mm-hmm. And you want it to, that's why he said be fruitful and multiply. That's it. that's it. It's blessed. So I want to make sure, but also I think it was good to make sure that everybody don't know. It's not God's commandment that you have to get married. Right. It, it, it is your choice. But if you so desire, I'll tell you why I got married. Can, can I just keep it all the way? Keep it 100. <laughs> I got married very young, 22. Grew up in the church and everything. Well, I just figured, like Minister Carolyn said, well, I don't want to go to hell. You know, so I'm, 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 I'm doing something outside of marriage that I shouldn't be doing. So I'm going to go. I mean, it's not that I love her. Of course I did. But I found out something, though, because my man of God counseled us and said, you know what? It's not going to be the same. If you all continue this behavior, it messes with your perspective. Mm -hmm. And it really did. It messes with your perspective because, see, when it comes to doing what you should do, and Pastor Paul was talking about this, too, we should do. Ooh, this other thing I've been doing is pulling on me. And, 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 And so the... The direction is always trying to please the flesh when the commandment says that I have to please God. And so I think it's I think it's important that we're not just being an advocate for marriage. We're being an an an, an advocate of, of having a relationship with God. That makes us a little simpler to understand. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because if I got a relationship with God. And he said he created me in his own image. Now I'm understanding the framework. And I'll take that same framework and, and shift it or place it in everything that I'm doing. Because some people may say, well, marriage is overrated. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it, it don't take all that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, right. you know, but it, it don't take all that. Right. It don't. Right. Right. It don't take all that. Right. I remember when. Come on now. My first marriage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We shall never marry. Oh, yeah. It was good while we was playing house. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. It was the perfect situation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she come over, okay? We kick it, she cook, oh. clean, go to work. I go to work. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Right. Then I said, you know, I want to marry this woman. Gotcha. Why did I do that? Mm-hmm. Man, it was like World War One broke out. Okay. And I know now, as I'm older, why it broke out. Because right. you hit it on the nail. Yeah. When you do something God's way, right, it has a 99.9% chance of working mm-hmm. out for you. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Only you can mess it up. Only you can mess mm-hmm. it up. Come on. You do it the devil's way. He'll let you play it's as done. long mm-hmm. as you mm-hmm. want. Mm-hmm. Right. But the minute you decide to go God's way, there you go. Now you've mm-hmm. upset the heaven mm-hmm. and hell. Mm-hmm. There you go. Bottom and line. every principality <laughs> is coming is coming for you. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what happened. It's like yes, if sir. you start off with God, Come on. you want to end with God. Mm-hmm. That's right. If you start off shacking. That's it. And slacking and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know, you decide to get married. You're going to have a difficult toll. Absolutely. And, you're going to have a difficult toll. Right. right. And, I th- and I think a lot of people have been very transparent. That's why there, are, there has to be an education. Right. Before you step off mm-hmm. into marriage. Yeah. Um, for somebody that's been married as long as I have, this is why I tell people, don't, don't think longevity granted you happiness. Right, because some people just learn to tolerate each other. Come on, but not grow with each other. Come on, and and, and I don't care how much you try to fake it. Come on, and all of these it shows because both of y'all are, are leaking. I, I remember <laughs> first lady would be coming to the ministry. I'm talking about this ministry right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We then got into it with some, and it affects your spirit. You come in there and you trying to. You smile and down inside you still mad, right, you know. Right. So you got to you got to deal with deal with you, right. and, and I think it's important too to make sure marriage is not for y'all to be each other's therapists. Right. Mm. If you if you crazy, come on, and you came to that relationship crazy, marriage ain't gonna cure you. Right. There's some things that. And that's why my, my late man of God, Dr. Noble C. Darby, used to tell me all the time, son, you have to know something about the history of the woman or the man that you're mm-hmm. trying to know something about the history of the family. Pastor Gray taught uh, one of the theological classes. He had us do a genogram. And what a genogram revealed was the divorces, how long different ones stayed married, if there was deaths, all these other things, because he said you will see a pattern because usually patterns are not broken unless something is taught different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> amen. If, if ain't nothing taught different, mm-hmm. I'm going to see the same pattern. Amen. Amen. And that's why he said you have to be careful. You got to do your research, you know. Uh, and that kind of goes along with what they were saying. How do I know? Can I marry the wrong person? And I think that ties right into this. What what's the definition of the wrong person? Yeah, yeah. What is that thing? Come man? on, somebody. They talk about unequally yoked. What is that all about? <laughs> Y'all want to grab it first? Come on. That person's not right for you. I mean, yes, we are free moral agents, and God says for the man to go find, pick his wife. But if that's someone that's not. Mm-hmm. Even spiritual, or you know, you, you serving God, and she's drinking and smoking, or she's clubbing, mm-hmm. she's doing something completely opposite of your lifestyle. But oh, you love her oh so much. I mean, you just—that's just an accident waiting to happen, <laughs> just wreaking <laughs> havoc on your life. Yeah, but 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 mm-hmm. okay, we met in the club. Let's say sure. we met in the club. Sure. All right, and we've been kicking it now for four or five years. I mean, we you know she do her thing, I do her thing. I mean, we like right. You know, that's my boo, my road dog. Gotcha. Then all of a sudden she meet this chick called Super Saint. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Super Saint bring in the church. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay? Gotcha. Right. Now she's into this church thing with Super Saint. Mm-hmm. 
that done messed up my relationship. Okay. What, what what do I do? Mm-hmm. What do I do? And what does she do? Because she loved me. Okay. I'm her boo. Gotcha. But That's now it. she wants to, to, to for Jesus to be in her life. I mean, how do you counsel me? Mm-hmm. The brother that's still playing mm-hmm. ball on the weekends, going mm-hmm. out to the club on the weekend. Mm-hmm. How do you counsel me? Mm-hmm. And you, minister, took my woman from me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. Well, grab that, your, your input? <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. How do you counsel me, the brother? I'm going to get you. You still, you're going to be whoever you are, but I do, do know the, that the Lord said. She still continued to because she's going to win you mm-hmm. through her her god godliness, right? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she's still going to continue to um, meet with um, Super Saint on at Hour of Empowerment mm-hmm. and on um, our, mm-hmm. our, our our spiritual nights, and she's still going to talk to him, and she's still going. But then mm-hmm. you're going to see the light in her, and then she's going to mm-hmm. win you. She's going to win me over. She's going to win you over. So, so, that she did. So, so you mean she's not going to come home trying to open up her mouth mm-hmm. and win me by opening up her mouth. She's going to win me over by her her actions and her deeds. She's still going to respect you more. She's going to she's gonna love you. She's still going to continue to mm-hmm. be your best friend, but on, on a different level. All right. And she's going right. to win you over. Okay, That's I can right. with that. I, but, I can feel that. But feel that. That's true, but, 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 but watch this, Apostle. Mm-hmm. I've dealt with a couple in a similar situation. What you have to do, because you got to remember when a person life is open up to something different or something new, uh, sometimes they have the zeal, but they don't have the knowledge on mm-hmm. how to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, the one thing that, that I helped them to understand, okay, like you said, that's my boo. We've been we've been along, been together, kicking and everything. So that should heighten my love for you because if I'm experiencing this joy and peace I never experienced before, I'm not going. I I I I I can't be condemning and saying, well, you know, if you don't want to come now, you know, all these other. Things. I think I got to show patience mm-hmm. like never mm-hmm. before, and and encourage you. And watch this. Is Even that possible? If, you sure it's possible with a new converted saint is that well, possible watch this it's possible with training with nurturing mm-hmm. with counseling mm-hmm. the one thing because like I said I've, I've, I've dealt with this before and this is the first thing I do they ask the question well what do I do now with this I said here's the first thing you do I said sit down with them and share with them what God has done with you okay but don't get into a battle with them mm-hmm. right See, that's the first thing. Don't don't become confront. Don't become confrontational. Confrontational, because now you 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 have experienced a conversion. Love on them, share, be patient. You got to be understanding, and remember this. Invite them if they don't want to come. Matter of fact, I I married a, a couple. They were both l- living together, but they came to me and said, "You know what? We want to do this the thing the right way." Mm-hmm. And and I talked to both of them because they both uh, may have had a different understanding. Well, one may think, well, why? What's the big idea for doing this? We want to do it God's way. If we try to put too much into it, other than what's already there, mm-hmm. then we lean to our own understanding. Mm-hmm. But what I would tell was this: be patient with them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that may be who God has for you. Mm-hmm. If Prophet Jose, God told him to marry a prostitute, you know how many times he had to go back and get her <laughs> and pay for her. <laughs> right. I done right. paid for this woman. Yeah. And she was going to run to this story. Yeah. But God said, that's your wife. Right. That story blesses me. And, 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 and I, I, share, I share that with you all the time. I share that story all the time. Watch this. With Minister Carolyn. Remember, a lot of what she's talking about, I witnessed that. Right. I talked to her. There was times, I don't think she mind, mind me saying this. I wouldn't say nothing that's personal between us. But I I remember where she was like, wow, you know, this, this just ain't working out. But God told me to show her how a godly man is supposed to love her. Mm-hmm. A man that loves God first, a woman that loves God first. Mm-hmm. 
Now they know how to love you properly. Mm -hmm. So she watched that. Even when she, you know, she was doing things that was just really just, it would hurt me. <laughs> I would get it was what? It was, it was reckless. Reckless. I was trying. And I would tell her, okay. get mad at her. Because, and I'm going to tell you why I got mad at her. Because I loved her. Mm. You don't get mad at nothing that you don't have a connection to or an investment in. And then God had gave me a word. Mm. Now watch this. What if God gives you a word and says, you know what, that woman right there, I know what her lifestyle is, but that's your wife. That that that's your husband. Are you gonna argue with God and say, but they trampish, they 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 doing all this? God, you got that thing wrong. Mm -hmm. Are you going to see the salvation of the Lord? Yeah, but okay, so wait a minute now. Come on. <laughs> Here's one form super saying. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor? Yes, sir. I found this 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 hole in the street. I got you. And uh, I hear you. God told me mm -hmm. that's gonna be my wife. Okay. Now she's at the strip club now. Gotcha. Okay. She's on the phone. Mm -hmm. But God told me mm -hmm. that's gonna be. Now I heard this one before too, by the way. Mm -hmm. God told me this is gonna be my wife. I hear you. How do you mm -hmm. counsel? Explain mm -hmm. to a person that says this hoe over here is gonna be my wife, <laughs> right? And she is just that, just that, absolutely. Well, what do you tell them, Super Saint? <laughs> <laughs> or that above your pay grade? <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. I mean, but how can we say if God didn't say that to that person? So you're saying if the guy comes to his pastor and says, that's my wife? That's who I want to marry. That's who I want to marry. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess him and that pastor better be in some heavy prayer meditation on that. Okay. Make sure that that's valid. Okay, well then wait, 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 wait. So let's flip it around. Mm-hmm, come on. Your lady comes to you. That's true. Mm -hmm. And says, mm -hmm. this dope dealer, <laughs> this player, God told me that's going to be my husband. Mm -hmm. And I want you to marry us. Come on. Come on. <laughs> By faith. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, not right. Oh, that, yeah. I mm. mean, I, I would have to. If that was me, I, I would really have to seek some counsel. If I didn't mm -hmm. know, I mean, a dope dealer and I'm trying to live the, the right mm -hmm. way. I mean, it's not to say that he's not my husband, mm -hmm. but we, we yeah. Mm -hmm. nah. No. <laughs> no. Carol, what, about you? <laughs> what about you, Carolyn? You said to console them, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know why they need counsel, tell the truth. <laughs> if mm -hmm. God said it, I believe it. Right. I'm going to do it. I hear you. So, Pastor, when they come here, you going to marry them? You know what? First, with counsel mm -hmm. and with prayer, because what I, and this, I, I mm -hmm. got to share the story right. of Prophet Jose because his name meant deliverance. Right. And since his name meant deliverance, there was an assignment with that. And, and, and I think you hit on something. The, the, the Bible said it's through the foolishness of preaching to them that believe might be saved. So there's a lot of things we ain't going to be able to wrap mm -hmm. our natural mind around. Mm -hmm. Because if God did it with Prophet Jose, mm -hmm. I know he can do it again. Mm -hmm. But as a pastor... Mm -hmm. I truly will go into prayer. Okay. Because if you are under my leadership, God's going to tell me if he told you that. So we got to be in accord. We got to be in agreement. But I would not kill the possibility of because God did it here with a prophet. Mm -hmm. I never heard Jose argue with God. I'm a man of God. Ain't no mm -hmm. way. I, I ain't doing this. He, right. I never find And go back and get her multiple times. Right, right, right. So I, I think as a man of God, we ha we have to be careful. Okay. We have to be careful and be be prayerful. But no, I wouldn't dare shoot it down. Some of us may have been ex dope dealers, mm -hmm. ex prostitutes. Right, right. So how, how, who am I to say that God wouldn't change her life while she's sliding down the pole? Okay, so so I understand something here. Help, help me understand something. Come on. Um, I mean. There's been similar situations like that at your church, hasn't it? Sure it has been. Why well, come you didn't marry the couple then? Now, 
Now which couple talking to I'm doing you just like Samuel did David. No I mean I mean, you know, this young lady that wants to get married. Right. Oh okay. I know what you're talking about. Okay. How, how come you get married? For one, the Lord told me no. But the Lord told her yes. But the yeah, Lord told you no. He told me no. And and I consulted the Lord and I understood why. He said no. Okay. He said no. And of course, you know, and I and I'm very careful. See, that's a, that's a, I don't know. That's sort of yeah. but, but fine see, line. Right, but but I'm glad you said that. Mm-hmm. The reason why it's a fine line, because that means I gotta sign on the line. <laughs> that's all. I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. If I gotta <laughs> sign on the line. Oh come on, Doc. Come then on. That means I've on. given my approval to something that to somebody. Mm-hmm. Right. No, sir. No, right. sir. Because mm-hmm. they say mm-hmm. who made shh. No, sir. If yeah. I give, if I sign on the line, that means I'm confident in this decision. Mm-hmm. You agree. And if I'm not, mm-hmm. I can't do it. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it. No, sir. But but a situation could happen. Sure. Where God sends you. Absolutely. A situation similar to that, and, and you hear from God, and you say, go ahead. And yes, sir. I, I would do it. Amen. Okay. Yes, sir. We have no problem with it. Okay. We have no problem with okay. it. Mm-hmm. You know, why can't a couple, uh, help me with mm-hmm. this, uh, Carolyn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come a couple can't just try it out for four or five years? Okay, a year or two. Why can't they just try? It? You know, try, try, try the marriage thing out. You know, save on divorce. Let, let's, baby, let's make sure mm-hmm. you and I are compatible. Because I might not like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's down the line. Right. So why can't we just let it gather? Shall you know, my place, your place, get a place together, whatever. Make sure everything is right. Make sure your money coming like supposed to. Make my money coming in like mm-hmm. supposed to. And we, you know, oh, this is gonna work. And then we go ahead and get and get married. Mm-hmm. I mean, can I get a thirty day money back guarantee on this? Call? You're right, especially statistically. Um, mm-hmm. what four out of ten marriages end in a divorce. Right. right? Mm-hmm. I remember when I was general manager, and we went mm-hmm. after seminar after seminar, and they used to say, "Look to the left of you, and look mm-hmm. to the right of you." Mm-hmm. And if you're coming in with a marriage, guess mm-hmm. what? Half of you. Well, um, mm-hmm. you're going to say, I don't want to have this store anymore because mm-hmm. now my marriage is a wreck and, and right. falling apart, and then we're going to want to step down. Well, mm-hmm. instead of them doing that, they say, hey, listen, being in retail, it's going to mess up your marriage because mm-hmm. guess what? When you say unevenly yoked, because you're going to mm-hmm. take your problems home to your spouse. Mm-hmm. They're not going to understand retail, and then you're going to be putting your problems that you we put on you to your spouse and then they're not going to mm-hmm. understand honey I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to hear about it I don't want right. to hear about your problems but get back mm-hmm. to your, your question I I thought that as well too I said I want mm-hmm. I was young and I said I wanted to see if mm-hmm. we're compatible in all ways right, right. we're just an adult channel right <laughs> yeah, I wanted yeah. to see if we were, we were compatible yeah, in all ways you know it was, <laughs> it was a, you know uh-huh. what from 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 mm-hmm. young, we grew right. up together, good right. friends, mm-hmm. humor, sense of humor, like the same things, and then when, well, yeah, it was doing everything was doing good at first mm-hmm. when we were sex was good, everything you was know, good. everything sex money was coming in, money, financially, Finan- no problem. Like I say, best friend, that best friend, sense of humor, you mm-hmm. can talk, everything, right. and then the, and did you get married? Well, we yeah. wanted to do the right thing and get married, and it is like a positive. It's like, there you go. Literally, who is this person? That person really mm-hmm. changed. Was it after you got married? It was right after we got married. She had a double work. Mm-hmm. Wow. She had a double so work. that was my testimony. Mm-hmm. That's, see, but we didn't go through yeah. any counseling or anything like that. But like you say, but you knew one another. We we knew. Yeah. See, that's that's the whole point. If you start off right. Mm-hmm. You can end up right. Mm-hmm. Sure, you can. But we put more You're focus right. on oh, okay, because we're married. Like, like mm-hmm. I of course, prophetess to me, she's planning a wedding and stuff like that. She's emphasizing mm-hmm. on, the, on the wedding. You know, most people they do emphasize on, on the, the wedding, wedding right. and then don't put the much marriage. work into the marriage. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. it's a plan. You can't just leave it there. I, I'm not talking to right. her. Like, I'm right. saying you can't just leave it there and expect one person is going to outgrow the other person. Mm-hmm. I, I had a marriage, the second marriage I had. Mm-hmm. Worst advice I could have gotten from my best man. Uh-oh. He said, Larry, mm-hmm. don't, don't get involved in the wedding planning, he said. Mm-hmm. Just, just don't do it, he says. Just tell her, tell me the time, the place, wow. and the colors. And I'll be there. He said colors? 
Because you know you want to know what to do. That's true. You know, and, and, and at first I didn't want to take advice. I wanted to be involved because I, I wanted to get to know the woman better. Mm-hmm. And I figured through the wedding process and all mm-hmm. that, because you're spending my money, right. I, I want to know you better. Right. You know, but I took his advice. Mm-hmm. Man, that marriage lasts about two weeks. I mean, really, after the wedding, it was, that's like, was her fantasy was, yes, exactly. was, mm-hmm. was the wedding, mm-hmm. you know, right. and, and I now know that I heard the voice, mm-hmm. and I said, mm-hmm. James, don't do this, mm-hmm. don't do just it. leave it alone, don't do it, just walk away, mm-hmm. but once you get that wedding thing rolling, mm-hmm. that is, it gets harder and harder and harder mm-hmm. and harder sure. to say, hold on, let's put this on hold. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. After the invitations and stuff was sent out, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I was, I, I really was like that up until the day of. I wasn't wow. feeling it. I yeah, really I wasn't, wasn't feeling it. You know, but I said, let me go ahead and do this thing. Yeah. And and, and yeah. sure enough, and I'm not blaming the person. Of course not. I wasn't ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wasn't ready mm-hmm. for the second marriage. Right. I wasn't ready. I've been married three times. I wasn't. Mm-hmm. I, this was like a rebound mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kind of thing. That's no good. And it was no good. It, it was no good. And I tell you, man, I've learned. I learned my lesson from that. Mm-hmm. I learned right. my lesson from that. You got to be right. completely healed. Yes, yes, you do. Like you said in the beginning well, of your to. the show. Mm-hmm. Don't expect the other person to, to be your therapist. Your therapist. Exactly. It doesn't work mm-hmm. exactly. And. And the one thing, Apostle, that, that I love and I've tried to be very transparent uh, is, 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 is that don't, don't downplay something that you know is a problem because emotionally you're feeling good at this moment. Now, I'm going to be very transparent. First Lady, I don't think she mind me saying this. Uh, there was moments we was hyped. My dad canceled my way mm-hmm. wow. for one year, canceled it. First lady said, oh, no, I ain't come make it. You know, we got to do this. I said, my man of God said no right now. And I'm going to listen to my man of God. And I, 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 we put it off for one whole year. And that one whole year, I saw stuff that I didn't see in the first year when we were getting counseling. And I said, well, this is what he was talking about. Mm-hmm. But see, what happened is this. If we're getting along good and you pull me in front of you as a counselor, I'm not going to say nothing against her. Right. I'm feeling good right mm-hmm. now. Right. Most times we say the offense when we offended. Mm-hmm. And, and so he was saying, no, y'all, even in, in, in what seemed fair weather, mm-hmm. you got to be honest. You got to talk about this now. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay? Right. And you got to deal with it. Amen. And, and, and so those were some of the things that I tell couples, no, I don't care how fine she is, how big her lips, hips are, all of that, or how muscular he may be. Right. We got to deal with real issues because we're dealing with a real life. Mm-hmm. And it's going to show up again. Mm-hmm. There, Some people got married already with a fracture. Mm-hmm. They got married for different reasons. I tell couples, you do not have to get married because y'all had a child together. Right. I just tell them, no. The Bible don't say I had to get married because I had a child with you, but you are responsible for taking mm-hmm. care of that child. Mm-hmm. Because that's not that's not a, a right reason. Right. That may be an honorable reason. Right. But it's not a correct reason. Because now what? Resentment going to set in somewhere down the line. Mm-hmm. You know? And so I, I want to go, go back, if you don't mind, to what you said earlier. Uh, just because something appears to be working, doesn't mean that it's working and if it's violated principle it's just a matter of time before that violation is manifested Mm -hmm. because you have to remember if two people are in darkness together oh yeah how who gonna see the light you're right (laughs) but it's cool Mm -hmm. yeah right Mm -hmm. right because we get the light because we get right right. Mm -hmm. and so we learn how to tolerate each other and go along with some things but I think it is important. I know a lot of men are probably going to say, you crazy, this ain't right. You can truly love a woman and, and, and withstand temptation. Mm-hmm. Now, I know a lot of people, she has been very vocal about this. Mm-hmm. Remember, when I met her, God said, I want you to teach her the love of God. But I trust you with her. Don't violate her. 
let her see something different than what she's ever seen in her life. Mm -hmm. And I give you my word before God right now. In all the 19 years, I've never touched her that way. So you can you can do that, but you got to have the power of God. Well, Amen, Amen. That that is that is good. I, those right. are called platonic relationships. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, but let me ask you this: mm -hmm. I had a lot of platonic relationships. Sure. That's just the kind of guy I, I am. Okay. Right. Um, but all those platonic relationships had to go. <laughs> right. When Mrs. I got it. James came along, and I hear. You. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. I mean, I mean, there to go. Are you going to make Paige get rid of his platonic relationships? Or is he going to just do it automatically? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, I mean, there's been a few that is just kind of like, well, no, you dated him in the past, so this is over, so why you still need to be his friend kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But there's one that he dated, mm -hmm. and they are like brother and sister now, and I can trust her that mm -hmm. she's not going to try anything. Because, 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 because they never had sex. Well, it's not just because of that. I mean, I, whether or not. Uh oh. <laughs> whether <laughs> or not. Okay. If, yeah. your man, if your man has sex with her. Mm -hmm. Wow. If your man has sex with her, mm -hmm. they can still be in a relationship. Nah. I mean, they could be cordial and speak, but cordial, not all cordial, like. Cordial. Yeah, but not all that friend, buddy, buddy. If I'm not around, mm -hmm. I mean, I trust him enough mm -hmm. that if that was the case, but still. If I don't know her habits, no, you can't be around my man. Okay, no. but so, but this one, you know this lady. Yes, I, I know her. So when you say dated, you mean they just went out and that was that was right. They just uh -huh. they they were together. So, but oh, now, together in a relationship. Together in a boyfriend girlfriend type of status. A sexual relationship, not a sexual relationship. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I don't understand boyfriend. She's on the stand. Boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, when I had a girlfriend, I was, I was hitting. Yeah, I, I, I was hitting. So, I so explain to me, boyfriend, girlfriend. I mean, like going, in, in to, your turn. going to church together, you kicking oh, it, going, going to the movies, oh, okay. hanging out. Okay. You know, that's my boy. And and, and, and and women don't get sort of suspicious. Wow. Of boyfriend, girlfriend, past relationships. I mean, at first, did it bother me? Yes. Okay. But seeing them together after it was all said and done, right. even when we were dating before we even got engaged, I saw their interaction and it, it didn't bother me. I right. mean, it wasn't it wasn't a sexual interaction. No. Right. It was no. mm -hmm. it was like brother and sister. Yeah, like hey sis, hey bro, what's up? Right. I mean, you know, and they're not they not they're not playing it. Nah, nah. They're not all. Nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> no phone conversation. Right. Like, it ain't no hiding numbers and all that. Nah, it ain't nothing like that. And even if she does, to this day, still contact her. Let me know, like, oh, babe, so and so hit me up. And I'm like, oh, you know, what she want? Oh, you know, just see how ministry is going on, all this other stuff. I'm like, okay. Right. Right. But, you know, if it was something else, then, right. you know. Right. And, and of course, you know, if Perry's been the kind of guy he is, he would, he would, he would right. probably yeah. get that in the book. Yeah, yeah. Any, in right. any way. And we talked about that. Yeah. You know, before we started dating, I let him know, you know, anyone that I was dating in the past, anybody that tried to come back on the surface. So, I mean, we've had that conversation. Right. Yeah. You know, so. And anybody ever come try to come back on the surface? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, while we were dating, yes, but since we've been engaged, no. Okay. They like, oh, he put a ring on it, so no, I'm not. Oh, uh, yeah, they like, oh, she off oh, limits now. Amen, 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 amen. Can I say something like quick? Yes, yes. I, I, I think as men, one thing we have to be compared, I mean, have to be careful with is comparing mm -hmm. when we move into a different relationship come, you know I mean, I'm going to be all the way live right now that's it right there live right there because wow. what, what, what happens men we've been known to compare everything that's what men do in a locker room we compare cars we compare wallet we compare who okay. our woman's the fines we compare mm -hmm. and so you, you, you have to understand that you have to discipline yourself because what, what happens when we don't do that we go into another relationship with a secret compartment Mm-hmm. Baggage. Yeah. Right. With a secret compartment. Right. Mm -hmm. And though we may not even say anything, we still thinking some things, referring back to the one we just left. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Come you on. Know what? Uh, and, 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 you know, it's like, well, you know what, Carolyn got all that hair, beautiful hair. This girl may be near bald head, <laughs> but she's sweet. <laughs> she loving. But you used to all you used to all all that hair, but it ain't even her hair. It's am I really over her? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 
do I still have her her um her the instance of of, of, of her is still in my nose mm -hmm. and in my mind and in my thinking wow. so that's why that's why I, t I, I, I tell people that really before you go on to another relationship there has to be a catharsis there has to be because you know uh, we, we can say well I've, I've, I've dumped all that I've unpacked and mm -hmm. all of that but you got to understand something about them soul ties those mm -hmm. some people touch your heart in such a way mm -hmm. it, it, it's like you know what Right here at this point, man, they knew what to, to say to me. And this one right, may not. Right, right She's right, different. Right. You can't compare her or him to what you ha had happened in the past. And watch this. We all have a tendency to gravitate to what's missing. Mm -hmm. Some of us got an 80%, but we look at that 20% that's not there. Mm -hmm. And we're willing sometimes to gamble with the 80 for this 20. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. It ain't worth it. And it ain't, yeah, it don't anyway, work. I tell you, I, I tell you, when I, when I met Kathy, mm -hmm. um, it was it, it was a slow process. Yes. Mm -hmm. I took my time. Very much so. You know, and, and no sexual relationship during that process. That's great. I wanted to. Sure. We human. No. No, 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 because I've been there twice. So, you know. mm -hmm. so I said, okay, this is going to be an experiment. We're going to do mm -hmm. this one right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 100%. Yeah. And uh, it's no, no, no other woman even, I don't even think about it. It's a discipline. It right. just, it, it ain't there. Because right. even if, if the thought is fleeting, and right. trust me, it's like bleeding, right. she got too much going on. Mm -hmm. It's that's just too much. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's just like, you know, that's the it's just too much. And that's where God comes in at. Mm -hmm. You know, today on, on an earlier show, mm -hmm. um, I, I spoke about humility. Oh, and Come on. you know, I think it's a, it's the Second Chronicles. Mm -hmm. You know, they talk about if my people who are called by my name yes. will humble themselves. Yes, sir. See, the problem with mm -hmm. us is that we don't humble ourselves. Mm -hmm. When that policeman pulled you over mm -hmm. and said, "Give me your license," Give it to me. humble yourself. Which once you do that, you you now connect with God's power. That's right. If you don't humble yourself, you're connected with your own power, mm -hmm. and your own power don't have the ability to stop a yeah. pistol. Mm -hmm. Sure. God's power can humble the policeman. Mm -hmm. See, we don't understand that. Right. We we like to take on our own fights and battles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never do it. God says, humble yourself. That's right. That will automatically connect you with him. Right. And he'll do it. Right. He'll handle it. Mm -hmm. It may be difficult to humble yourself when a policeman say, put that cigarette out. Now. Now. That's right. Just like that. Just humble yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and watch God go to work. Mm -hmm. But the minute you grasp, that's all the devil wants you to do. Fight authority. It's a fight authority that God ordained. Mm -hmm. That's right. He said it lost the land. God ordained all government, mm -hmm. good, bad, and ugly. Government is ordained by him. That's right. If my people will humble themselves, mm -hmm. and that's the key mm -hmm. in all situations. In marriage, I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. I humble myself. Mm -hmm. Right. God takes over. Yes. God takes over the minute I, Larry, don't say it. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself. And let God handle it mm -hmm. right. in all situations. Somebody say something I'll fly to you. <laughs> That's putting it on the break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, my mommy to tell you to count to ten. Yes, Lord. Count to ten and humble yourself. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, parents say something goofy. Mm -hmm. Okay, which I know he never does. <laughs> well, you know, he never does. <laughs> Especially the Super Saint. You know. Humble yourself <laughs> and and let God now you're welcoming now you're welcoming welcoming God into mm -hmm. that particular mm -hmm. circumstance mm -hmm. or that situation. He showed me that this morning. That's good. But we, we don't hum, we don't want to we don't want to humble ourselves and God can't work when you're not humble. Mm -hmm. And that's where all these young black kids are getting killed. Yes. Nobody yeah. taught them humility. Mm -hmm. It ain't being a punk. Right. It's saving your life. Mm -hmm. It's 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 utilizing the real power. It's utilizing the power of God when you humble yourself. Right. People don't get it. And so mm -hmm. this is why they Yeah. 
are getting killed, murdered, divorced, and everything else because it's just simple, one simple thing. You mm-hmm. want God to get involved in your life? Yes. Humble yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a structure and order. That's what I hear you say. Everything is birthed out of a structure and of a order. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And 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 you're you're absolutely right. Some have, uh, some may don't even know order mm-hmm. because of their their history. Mm-hmm. But history can be changed yep. by renewed thinking. Right. And that's, that's why I hear you saying that if if we think of this as believers, the Bible says we are the salt of the earth. So we actually set the flavor for the earth. Come on. But if the salt has lost its flavor, it ain't no good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're right. If my marriage is jacked up, don't you know, I have the power through God to change and make a difference. Even if nothing changes with her, it can change with me. Mm -hmm. That's the whole key. That's the key. And this is how I, 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 I operate in the ministry, too. Wait a minute, I know I push hard. I know my work ethic and all that, okay? Some people may not be able to keep up with that, okay? It's rare. Mm-hmm. Because e- even with my with my uh, C- CCO, she, whoo, let's give her a chance sometime to share with you what she's dealing with right now. And so my mentoring pastor even said, you know, man, I'm, I'm, I'm watching that girl give you 100%, 200%. You know, but be careful now that you don't burn her out. These are the pastors. Right, of they observe. They say, "I like to have her. You can't have her. Right. She's assigned to me. She's right. assigned to this task, this ministry." Mm-hmm. But it was like, man, yeah, but you know, she have everything done. How she opens up, certain, how she does all this, and then you have other people like with Tanila. She was brought up in this, so she understands. She know her daddy. Boom, daddy gonna hit it and ain't gonna quit it till it's done. She right. knows that. So right. if if I seem a little intense about some things, it's still within the structure. Right. It's still within the order. But sometimes I have to really emphasize. Like you just said, hey, wait, wait a minute. If my people humble themselves, I gotta emphasize that humility because we, we wanna look over everything that requires something from us. Yes. But we don't have a problem with what's coming to us. Come on now. Yeah, and, 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 and that that is that is so important. To make sure that you keep the right perspective through the good, bad, yeah. and the yeah. ugly. So what's the conclusion on this matter? <laughs> what's the conclusion on this matter? Come on, the, the, the question was, right. is marriage right for me? Right. Is marriage right for everybody? You said Pastor, uh, you, you said Apostle, Apostle Paul, Paul said, yes. hey, it's better to right. marry than to burn. But is marriage for everybody? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not. Yeah. You can be. I don't that it is. Right. You can mm-hmm. be alone and not lonely. Mm-hmm. I, at one time, I thought that I, I was lonely, and I was like, right. "Oh my God, am I ever going to get married?" Because mm-hmm. once again, I was young and married well, twice. What are you doing? Wait, can, can, can I just say? Go you, ahead, this is what's bothering me. Go ahead, put it out there. Do I have to get married mm-hmm. to have sex? <laughs> According to the Bible, yes. <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, now, hang on, hang on, man. I mean, the, 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 actual, break. the actual act of doing it, you know, because people do it all the time. But if you want, if if you want to protect your soul, yes, you need to be married. So fornication is the old Testament, Testament stuff. All of the and that's even Testament New Testament stuff. too. That's New Testament too. You know, that's what Paul talks about that. It's better to marry than to. Burn. Oh, okay, okay, so, so, so you know, you know, I'm burning. Let's say I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm on fire. Come on, all right. Come on. What is a brother or sister mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. when they burning? Okay, hold up. Let's go out and look at my Jessica page right quick. Get married. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it and quit it, and then uh, I don't want to be with you though. Yeah. But I'm burning. That's a how do you stop the burn? That's a problem. Number mm-hmm. one. Um, we had to deny ourselves. That's the whole key, because what you said is that. But, but I ain't always been there, <laughs> and I understand that. Uh-huh. I was, come on, Pastor. I was messing up before I got married. Okay, okay. okay. I understand that, and it's a choice. I, and it's a realistic man. I mean, yeah. come on. In, in 2015, let's, let, 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 I ain't uh-huh. met not name pastor. Right. 
And maybe I'll get some calls and I will meet them. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Who can tell me, look me in my eye, and say on their first go round. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I know my third one, I just finally took me three to get it right. Okay. On the first go round, we didn't have sex before marriage. Yeah, I can't say that. We didn't have sex before marriage. I, I was burning, but I refused to give in to the flesh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's some that, that have done that, but that's just not my testimony. <laughs> and, I, and I knew better. I mean, I can't say I didn't know better. I chose to do differently. Mm-hmm. Right. I chose. It was, it was even Apostle Paul said, man, I can have the will to do the right thing, but sin is present in me. And I'm pulling this way, and I can't use excuse. When I was young, I was only 20. I got mm-hmm. married at 22. Mm-hmm. You know that don't work. Yeah. That don't work because I grew up. Both parents was pastors all my life, and they taught this. But there, you know. there, there's some television show. I I, 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 I don't mm-hmm. quite get it. Gotcha. I was flipping through the channels. Mm-hmm. Some about. A second time virgin or something, or virgin. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen. Yeah. I've never watched the show. Yeah, I haven't wrong. seen either, yeah. and I, I'm trying to figure out like what is that about? Can can you become a virgin again after you've had sex? I don't think physiologically. Yeah. Okay, but you can you can abstain right right, right. and but and mentally and spiritually right. try to. Right to atone and, and new creature, become mm-hmm. a new creature, man. Right, right. I mean that that I that I can. That's the only way I could see, understand. Mm-hmm. See, you know, because I mean I was raised in a church all my life, and mm-hmm. you know that it was a church so you girl that, that gave me my sure. you know oh, introduction yes. to sex, Absolutely. and I got you. And I never married her, but right, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And, so um, was you in church or just into the church? Well, you know what? Put it this way: going to church. Mm-hmm. At the age of eight, mm-hmm. I, I was conscious that I was in there church all the time. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I, I was one of those kids that didn't want to have or didn't want to, have, want to fornicate. Okay. Gotcha. I didn't have sex until I was like 21. Wow. Okay. okay. I held off oh, all the way through high on. school mm-hmm. and a couple of years out of high school. Yeah. But I, I could say her name. Yeah. I and you. that was it. Yeah. You know, we was kicking it. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember the whole experience because it's my first time. Right. You know? And um, then after that, the floodgate was open mm-hmm. in. Right. I said, okay, babe, thank you. <laughs> I went on to the next. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, once I figured out what I was doing. That's right. That's right. You know, I thought I was good. <laughs> <Open that door. laughs> I got You know, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. And that's you know. what you just said. Yeah. You yeah. Open doors. It opened doors that, yeah. that, 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 that. that Bishop Terry tell you the devil will take you on a ride. Don't let him get in because he'll take you further than you want to go. All day long. Mm-hmm. Further All than you want to go. Amen. 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 So, so I guess the conclusion of the matter is right. <laughs> abstain until marriage. Yes. Yes. Not everyone should should marry. No. Right. You know, marriage is not for yeah. everybody. No. Mm-hmm. No. You know. Based and, on uh, the, based on the scriptures, yeah, just, just, just that's not going to hold it if you don't get and, married. And, and really, the scriptures is mm-hmm. our handbook. Mm-hmm. That it is. It really that's, is. That's that's mm-hmm. our, our our rule book. That's what we should live by. Mm-hmm. You know, I joke around and I talk a lot of stuff, exactly. but yeah. but the bottom line, that's the right. there it is. It's God's word is mm-hmm. what we should live by. Line upon line, line precept, precept upon precept. precept. Uh, you know, and, yes, you know and of course, if you don't know the word, then it's somewhere. Yeah, but you know, but I, you know, I'm at a point, mm-hmm. and I have been for many years, mm-hmm. of living the word. That's the key. Because I know the that's, word. I knew the word when I was having sex. I wow. knew sure the word. Did. Oh sure we did. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Sure we did. But I didn't do it. We didn't do it. Ah. That's right. I knew it, but I just didn't do it. Because I, I didn't see the benefit of doing it. Right. Mm. And I now agree. that we get older... Or more right. mature in Christ. Well, yes. There you oh, go. Oh, I mm-hmm. see the benefit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in keeping the word of God yes, and right. his promises. Mm-hmm. Come on. Versus knowing it. You know, That's I quote true. scriptures all day long. Oh, yeah. I quote scriptures. That was no scriptures. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I was a devil, no scripture. Devil, no scripture. <laughs> exactly. In the church. It's bad. That's uh, right. You know, know how they say the devil come to church every Sunday with y'all? Hey, that's what I mean. That was me. 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 That's right. That's right. You right. You right. I hate you. And it was, it was, it was, it was wrong. But I think it's important there to be transparent too when you're teaching and you're sharing to let people know, look, you know, I've drank of that cup. Right. And that's why I can speak from that cup. Yes, yes. But we're trying to give you an instruction and a direction. So you don't have to have that arbitrary truss around your neck day in and day out. Because God, watch this, God will not deliver you from ever experiencing temptation, but he will give you power. Mm -hmm. According to 1 Corinthians 10, I believe in 13, to stand. Yeah. And then he says he can have to stand and endure, shall receive the crown of life. So never think temptation not going to come. It's right. going to come. It's going to come in a form that you're familiar with and that's something that you're interested in. Right. Mm-hmm. It won't come with something, though, interest. That is not a temptation. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. And so we, we, we have to understand that. We have to know uh, what is around us. We have to know what what God has called us to do mm-hmm. and let him do it. Mm-hmm. And, and can I share something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, something that I've learned and maybe this may help you guys out in marriage. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. When, when I look at my wife, not only do I love her, mm-hmm. but I tell you a secret. Go ahead. She, I even lust after her. I got wow. you. See, okay. I, let, I let my spiritual side and my carnal side right. be into her. Okay. Got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? That's different. And it's, and, it, and, it's, and, it's, and it's perfect that way. So when the carnal side of me rises up, okay, it's all about my baby's booty. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Ain't no nothing else. It's her. Right. She, it's she her. fulfills that. Right. And when it comes to, to being spiritual, mm-hmm. in that sense as well, it's um, it's her. Wow. And, and, and that's how, yeah. and I, I thank God for that. God knew mm-hmm. that carnal side and that mm-hmm. spiritual side, he knew all that carnal side of James or something else. So yes. let her fulfill that. Right. You know, just looking at her mm-hmm. sure. fulfills that. Sure. You know, and that's what I lust after. Sure. You know, and and like you say, because guys can, can compare things. Oh, all the time. And and there's just no comparison. Yeah. And that's the best way. And that's that is a, that that's is the best way. That, that truly that's, is the best, the best way. way. And that's how God blesses. He he blesses us with that. Yes. That ability yes. to when, when you do it right. Yeah. Yeah. He fulfills all sides of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it with, like you, with the one you love. Mm-hmm. You right. you married your best friend, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I met her on eHarmony. Yeah, do a commercial for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pastor, go ahead. Look, look, hey, look, look, hey, look, hey, man. First of all, we thank God once again for this great platform uh, to share once again, and we want anyone who's watching this broadcast that doesn't know Christ as their personal Savior. The Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord, confess with their mouth and believe in their heart, shall be saved. And then I encourage you that if you're not going to church, get into a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church so now you can become a disciple. As Jesus told the, the, uh, the disciples that this work that I start in you, I will stay with you and complete it until the very end. And so we just thank you and believe God and we hope to see you if you want to visit our ministry uh, we're located at 3914 Lee Road and Bitmore inside of Greater Works Revival Sur- uh, Worship Center services at 3 p.m. on Sunday and on Thursday at 7 p.m. hour of empowerment God bless Amen Amen I just got a little tongue tied there for a minute